Okay, so if you've just bought an RT3S, this one I have is, is the GPS version, which is not really needed because the GPS function doesn't work with uh, VKDMR. But uh, this will give you a good introduction to how to program the radio. It's not meant for advanced users. It's really just meant for people who have just bought the radio and want to get up and running with a hotspot. That's the uh, the aim of this video and also this uh, program. So it's uh, just a generic one. Really, the only thing you have to do once you download this uh, this code plug, it's got the RDT uh, uh, extension on there, is to go to your general setting and in the radio name in the middle column here, the very top, just put your call sign in there and your DMR ID. You have to apply for a DMR ID. Uh, you, it's simple to do. It takes about 24 hours and then you get a DMR ID. Keep that number. Uh, it's not a private number because everybody can see that number, but it's then associated with your call sign. So then you put that DMR ID in there. That identifies you on the network, be it VKDMR or Brandmeister or even making a simplex call. Okay, so that's really all you need to do. Then you come over here to Write to Radio and click OK, and then that will write your code plug into your brand new radio. Now, just an explainer, explainer of what is in this basic setup. This is simply just for the Australian VK DMR network, and I'll just quickly go through. So you can modify this and create your own code plug, do some changes, but at least this will get you going and get you off the ground. Now, the first thing that I've done here is actually made what's called a, uh, a digital contact or they're actually talk groups. So I've done uh, 34 talk groups there. Effectively, the first batch is in time slot one and time slot two is the later batch. But that's something that you can work out later once uh, you get to know how this works. Uh, th th that does. This is quite irrelevant to the time slot. It's, it's more in what you put in later in your channel and you can put the same time slot. Like if for instance, we look at uh, talk group nine here, this is just the talk group. And then I've done that in both talk group in, in time slot one and also in time slot two. So I've created those. You can add more if you're on different systems, but this is the system for VKDMR. There's a few ones in there like the scouts, which uh, aren't active very much, but I've put them all in there just to uh, put them in where you need to have them. So the next thing after you've done your digital contacts is to go into the channels and I've made quite a lot of channels here. Effectively, I've done it into different repeater slots. So you'll see I've got repeater slot one is the first section and then repeater slot two is the next section. And this is not really relevant again until you get to the next stage, which is zoned. We'll get to that in a minute. But to create the channels, you just simply go in here and add a channel. Now I've made a channel for, let's have a look at that talk group nine again. So uh, 439.125 is my hotspot frequency that I've got here. And I've labeled it talk group nine slot one. And if we go over here to repeater slot, you'll see that it's on repeater slot one. I've done low power on all these because you only need low power if you're on a hotspot. Now if we go to the other TG9 here, which is S2, slot 2, you'll see that it's on repeater slot 2. So that'll appear on the other half of the uh, the, the uh, bandwidth. So the, yeah, the, the bandwidth is divided into two slots, slot 1 and slot 2. Uh, all these colour codes, an amateur radio is colour code 1, so just leave it on that. You'll notice the contacts come up here. So this is coming from that a digital contact list or the talk group list. And this is where it enters into the channel. So you can have, like I've just pointed out there, a channel which is the same talk group but in a different slot. So that just separates that out. So you can quickly go to talk group 9 slot 1 or talk group 9 slot 2. That's the easy way to do that. And that's how I've set that up. So everything from down here is effectively 
in the slot two range. And then we've got the two simplex frequencies there in 70 centimetres and two metres. Then I've just created some generic slot one and slot two uh, hotspot frequencies for Australia into VK land. And that can that they've got no associated uh, digital contacts with them, so you can add them uh, on the fly as it as it is. Okay, so the next part, which is gathering all those digital contact and channel information, is the zone information. Now I've done two zones here. One is just the simplex, and one is the hotspot. So what uh, you get on the the Redivus radio is you get two different uh, sections. You get a, a, a section A on the top and then a section B on the bottom. Now, this is effectively all the available uh, channels that we've created in the channels on both A and B. And you can select which ones you want on A and B. And I've just done it as a simple thing. I've made all of channel A members, which is slot one, and all of channel B members slot two. You don't have to do it like this, but... I just did it this way. It also, in in one respect, teaches you which uh, talk groups are on different slots if you divide it up this way. It just makes it a bit, little bit neater to remember which uh, slot you're talking on, whether it's slot 2 or slot 1. VK2, Hotel Tango Victor, testing on the Parrot. VK2, Hotel Tango Victor, testing on the Parrot. Okay, this is a very short video to get you up and running on the VK DMR system with your hotspot. I hope this has helped. And uh, just to get you started, at least it's somewhere to uh, get a reference and, and maybe uh, expand it from there. Thanks very much for watching.